And when our faith is so focused on what we do and making sure it's all in place and these external things are for everybody to see, then it's no longer a discipleship journey. It's a performance. We move from discipleship through all of these acts, through through these things that we do that are very, um, that have connected us with God and connected us with faith so deeply. And we have moved from discipleship to self-promotion. And we make this change so very easily. We do it as, as individuals. We do it as, as churches. We post pictures of our group serving in the soup kitchen. We post pictures of the youth group doing their thing, all of which is great and the motivation to grow the kingdom of God and, and, and show God's hands at service. And, and oftentimes it doesn't take much for the motivation in our hearts and our minds to shift ever so slightly to make it about us. And it quite forces us to look at ourselves and to answer that. Am I doing this to advance the gospel or am I doing this so I can look really spiritual? What is the motivation? Jesus gave us a clear understanding about how to determine our motives. Look at Matthew 6, 6 again. But when you pray, go in your room, close the door and pray to your father who is unseen. Then your father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. <clears throat> what is the reasoning? What is the purpose? What is the drive? See, I believe the power of the Holy Spirit, God can help us discern our motives. God will help us determine and discern our intent and our integrity behind everything. But it goes against who we are. It goes against everything that we do because we're so busy filling up our days with noise and schedules that we don't have time to slow down and do some serious self-reflection and self-examination. So during Lent, it's, it changes our hearts. That's the purpose of it. It changes our hearts to become more like Christ and to ponder and to reflect and self-examination. It's a willingness. It's a willingness to understand our brokenness, to understand that we're kind of a mess, that we don't have it figured out. It's a willingness to accept that and acknowledge it. As disciples, you're invited to turn back to the God to turn back to his power, the power of the Holy Spirit and allow him to point to you where our lives have strayed a bit, where our faith has become more of a performance than it has a true path of discipleship. 